Hi, welcome to Getting Started with Elixir by Pack Publishing, Section 3, Pattern Matching. In this section, we'll explore one of the great features of Elixir, Pattern Matching. We'll start by introducing the fundaments of pattern matching, how it differs from assignment, and then proceed to enumerate the various forms this concept can assume, as well as some practical examples for it. Let's move on to the first video, Pattern Matching versus Assignment. In this video, we'll take a look at the definition of pattern matching and how Elixir exposes this concept. We'll then have a look and see how this differs from the typical forms of assignment found in other languages. In the previous video, we've seen the concept of binding or assigning values to variables. This makes it easier for us to reuse these values in subsequent instructions in our program. In this example, we're basically assigning the value of the list on the right-hand side to a variable named list. This exercise can be done with any type, not only for lists or complex types. In this example, we're binding the value of 1 to the variable x. But in Elixir, you can also use the expression 1 equals x, which is also valid after x has been bound to 1. And we can go even further and say 1 equals 1, which is also a valid expression. This is usually not accepted as valid assignment on other languages, so what's happening here? In Elixir, the equal sign is actually designated the match operator. The match operator accepts two operands, the left-hand side and the right-hand side. And what it means semantically is match the left-hand side with the value on the right-hand side, so the operator returns successfully if both values are the same or if there is a positive match. Let's see an example of this in practice. We can match the freeform variable x with a list of integers from 1 to 5. We can then reference the list using the variable x since the list is now bound to that name. Using the reverse match works as well, since x matches the value of the list to the left. If we match x to 3, x will now reference the value 3. Elixir allows variables to be rebound with new values. Attempting to match the list with x now yields an error, since the value 3 is not the same as the list. As we've seen, variable binding is part of the rules of pattern matching. If the value on the left-hand side contains a variable, the value on the right-hand side is bound to that variable. On the right-hand side, if the value is a name, the value of the variable with that name is matched with the left-hand side. If no variable exists with the given name, then a function with the same name is called. And if none of those exists, then an error is thrown. Also, as we've seen in the examples, a variable can be reassigned or rebound with a new value on a subsequent match. If we don't want or desire a variable to be rebound, we can use the pin operator. This is represented to the left of the x variable. The pin operator makes it so that only a strict check for a pattern match takes place. The variable affected with the pin operator is not rebound. In fact, the variable must already be bound to a value, or an error is raised. Let's see an example of this in practice. We first match x to the string hello. We can then rebind x to hey by matching it with that string. If we affect x with the pin operator though while matching it with hoi, an error is raised. If we try to pattern match with a pin and bound variable, a different error is raised, stating that there is no value bound to that specific variable. And this concludes our first introduction to pattern matching. We've seen the match operator in practice, how it differs from typical assignment, and how we can use the pin operator to do strict pattern matching. 